Welcome to Dyson Sphere Program. My name is Nilaus and this is episode 24. And first, let me say, don't worry, this series is not about to end. You don't have to worry about it. I think that I tried to make it clear last episode, but I just want to make it absolutely clear. Just because we have the final science unlocked and doesn't mean that we are done with the game. Oh, quite the contrary. Like in Factorio, you only really start the game when you're done with the game. So here we have... So as you can see, these are not working and that's really what we're going to be working on today is starting to look at this beautiful thing. Oh, look at that. Look at this beautiful thing. So a comment about um, getting more saturation by using more outputs. Yeah... I can see that, but I also really like to make sure that it is strictly 30 and that the way I'm strictly making sure of that is by making sure there's only one belt outbound. So we're going to take one out, one belt out for each of these and all the different colors coming in and we now have 10,000 of that. That's not really a big surprise that we have 10,000 because, well, we had 10,000 in stockpile of each of the different ones. Let's look at a few other things I've done in the meantime, uh, just between sessions. I have uh, expanded this one to something that I like even more. So basically we can land here and get recharged fast. I can make sure that I remember to put my sorters <clears throat> in. That's why I just want to come back here. So now we have eight of these glowing orbs and they are producing well enough. Let's just say enough for, this, for what we have here. Definitely enough. What I've done as well, I figured that this uh, location actually had a lot of iron and a lot, a lot, a lot of stone. So what can you use iron and stone for? Well, you can make a smelter that makes 30 steel per second, that one. And you can make a little stone thing that makes, well, 30, uh, no, 90 st uh, stone per second. And what can you use 30 steel plus 90 stone? What can you use that for? Well, 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 if it isn't another concrete facility. So we have another concrete facility that is now ours and I've set it up so that it can provide to anywhere in the galaxy. So we now have another location and uh, the reason why we want that because I think we're going to go to a place where we're going to be needing all our 13.2 million here. So I've also started just clearing out this but I've not marked it with, uh, with the concrete because it's been some comments about just wanting to, to preserve the lunar surface. So we'll preserve it unless we're building there. So I like that. That's a pretty uh, san sane way of doing it. How can I not find my gigantic... Oh, here we are. That is nice. All right. So we're really, really obvious. We are actually going to do... The first thing we're going to do is now complete the game. We're going to do some calculations. Yay, calculations. I know you're super excited as I am. You should be. Here, if we look at this, this takes 3.6 million hashes and it takes 4,000 universe cubes. That means each universe cube gives us 900 hashes. So if I have 30 cubes coming in per second, then that is 27,000 hashes per second. And if I then need to consume 27,000 hashes per second then I have to do bloop bloop and we did some calculations on stream and uh, just to figure out how this works and by default if you have no upgrades this one consumes 60 hashes per second and I go to upgrade again we go over here with upgrades I have research speed 400 I want to get research speed 500 so this one will get that one um, yeah this is the really big one uh, this is also kind of an outlier from all the rest. In all the other ones, you get 900, 900 from one cube, but in this one you get 1800. I don't know why, that's just the way it is. Uh, but we're gonna get one research speed, so we get up to research speed 500%. So each of these will now consume 30, uh, 300 hashes or produce 300 hashes per second from the cubes. So that means we're now going to take the 27,000 and divide it by 300 and that gives us a total of 90 so i need 90 of these uh, these locations they can be listed they can be 15 high so we divide 90 by 15 and that's six so i need six six here times 15 high that's it it's it seems so so ridiculously small doesn't it and yeah it, it really does it like okay everything is so gigantic and then oh really that's it 
I'm not going to connect it because I don't want the want it to flow here yet. So we're just going to look at it. How close do we get on the other side? Um, let's see. That is that's one big square, and that's one big square, and that's three big squares. Three big squares away, so it doesn't collide. I don't want it to sort of be hugging it. One, two, here. That one, and uh, no. Uh, do I want it sort of off to the side? No, I don't. I want this to be on the middle here. So that's going to be that one. I'm going to make it a cube. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I don't know. The maximum we can do it is 15. So we're just going to make it up to 15. Isn't that silly? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the silliness of this. It, it is kind of just way out. Okay, so we're going to get... Uh, we're actually going to do this, and then I'm going to take none. Hmm. That's not actually working either. There. We'll take this one. So there's no outbounds in this one, so this should be pretty simple. That's two, three, four, five, and six. And that then completes before the next one, next thing starts. Excellent. Well, that's easy. And I don't know. Is one enough? Is one enough? I have no idea. Yeah, it is. It sh one should be enough. Because I'm going to get 30 and each of these can consume at least 6. So that definitely should be... This is 36, so it's enough. Don't actually know, need to know anything else. We're just going to make this. And you can watch me do it because this is a nice little simple build here. Uh, when you do this, be careful not to move at the same time as you thrust. Because then you enter sail mode and then suddenly you're halfway across the world. Just hypothetically that could happen. There, all of those are done, and now we just need some power poles in between. I think we'll get some a power pole here because that'll connect, and a power pole there because that'll also connect. All right. Do did we get some research queued? No, we did not get any research queued yet. I think we want to take this one first because only when we have this one can we actually get the other ones. Uh, this one is pretty expensive. So when we talk about what we want, uh, there's a lot of things here we want. We basically can go and get one upgrade over here, and that's the mission complete. It doesn't unlock anything. It's just like tap a pat on the back, done. Really good one is vein utilization, which gives us more product. Really good. We want definitely some of those. We want one of these, and then that's it. No more ever again on this one, because then it's at f speed 500. Uh, to anyone who says that it increases the productivity, that is... 100% incorrect. Tested it. It's not the case. It only increases the speed. It makes them burn through the science packs faster. Does not give any productivity whatsoever. So getting more of these makes no sense. Get it to a nice 500 and that's it. I'd also like to get like a better core and there, there. Basically all of them I want a bit of, except that one. Not really ray transmission right now. All right, let's tap this one because that's the one that will actually enable us to consume it fast enough. And I think we'll just uh, hook it up here. That should be it. So let's. Uh, there we go. And white science goes up. Let's see how long it takes to go further down. Okay, this one's munching all of it. Hey, do you mind? Do you mind? Huh, okay, so I guess three of them can empty a belt. We know that now. Three can empty a belt. Until they get saturated, of course, and then it starts pushing further in. Last one's not going to work, you can see here. And once we have all of these lighted up, then we can see what the actual power is. We should be having not 27,000 per minute, but uh, I don't know, 22,400 maybe. Okay, my my 80% my of 27,000 might be a bit off. Let's wait for this one to be here. And that is now 21,600. Ah, close enough. And let me just look at the production tab. I think I might have. No, I did not do that here. That's going to be number three. That makes sense, right? 
getting these as number three. Then we can just tag the favorites number three. And looking at a one minute cycle, there we go. We are now provide our consuming universe matrix consumption, production, production will never keep up. This is definitely not enough, but it'll get there, right? What is it supposed to be? All right, after I'm asked much confusion, I am finally back. <laughs> so the issue is, my, my thought is here is like, why is it only consuming 12? That doesn't make any sense. The answer is, of course, here. This one takes, I'm going to take 14.4 14 14 .4 million and it is divided by 8,000. That means it's 1,800 for, per block. So for some reason, the speed mod, the research speed is a different ratio. That means I get twice as much output from each cube when I'm researching research speed. Yes, strong research, research, research speed. That means this ratio is completely wrong and I'm actually getting basically half of what I should have. It's still not entirely correct. This is really stuck at 720 and I, oh, right. I'm thinking it should be stuck at 1800, but it'll be half to 900. And then it's going to be less because I don't have the last research. That's the one I'm researching. So that's why it's 720. Ah, oh, perfect. Everything makes sense. It's awesome. Good. Whew. All right. So what uh, we're going to go back down the rainbow road and uh, just have a look at what will be probably be inbound. Well, I know the answer already. This is the one that's going to run out first. There. That one's also pretty bad. So it's either yellow or yeah. So it's either yellow or red, and I'm gonna to, I'm gonna call it red. So what we know need to do is while waiting for the science to work, we're gonna make red science. Actually, can I do this? Yeah, red science cubes. That is graphite and hydrogen. So there's two ways we can do that. We can either say, hey, we get the hydrogen from some gas ants done, and we get the graphite from uh, from coal done but I think that there's a better way and that's getting both of them from oil so that means we need to find an oil planet right there so let's uh, as we go out we are going to just casually look around at something that is close by to our starting location let's say Kappa Hydri that's that's a good one oh look at that tons and tons of crude oil and fire ice and spiniform stalagmite crystal we are going to this location, Kappa Hydri. Aside from this, not super interesting. It does actually have extra hydrogen, so if we need extra hydrogen, we can get that. Now we can see that we are actually running out of red signs. That is good, but we are, luckily we still have plenty to go. So we can easily get all of this one done. This one done, then we get the research speed, and then we can go go to something else and then we'll just get to take a look at the uh, actual research speed so i'm just gonna wait here until that's done and then we're gonna go to kappa hydri and we are about to complete the first research uh, the research speed and from here on we should be seeing much better speed coming along there we go that was research speed four that means four 60 extra hashes we're gonna get some research that we actually think we'd like do you want to get the mission complete it just seems a bit weird that we get the mission complete it doesn't give us anything. No, we'll we'll save that for a bit for a rainy day. We'll take uh, Mecha Core because that gives us much more range. That would be nice. We should get uh, communications because that gives us uh, two extra drones. That would be nice. And I would like to get some energy so we recharge our uh, Mecha faster. And then from here on, I think it's very much about getting a few of these and then I don't think I have enough left for all of this but what we should look at how incredibly fast this one is charging and then we'll actually just hit this one just to make sure that we get it and then we'll head over to Kappa Hydra what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stand in here because when we get it we'll see that we're at 3.118 gigajoules and I'll get 2.4 extra gigajoules of power which just needs to be charged and then we'll go all right this is at a let's actually see oh look at that hash rate is 27,000 that means now we should be seeing these as they are this one should be getting up to 900 right and it is up to 900 and then that still begs the question of why consuming 900 per minute there we go mecha core level six and with that's almost a doubling of what we have here that is amazing so we're just gonna charge 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 faster 
we have all the things we need. One thing that I'd like to get uh, that I just set up on this planet was I set up um, there. I set up that I wanted a few of these because we're going to do some mining. We're probably not going to take this many. Never mind. Uh, see this? This is a little trick. I'll show you how to request smaller items. You can actually take the minimum load of vessels and it can go all the way down to 1%. <gasps> it's not 0%, it's 1%. It can actually slide all the way down. Now that, you did not know. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you did. And what else? Do we want some miners? Ah, we don't want anything else. We're good. We are fully charged. What are we? What's our maximum? 558. Okay. And we're going to go to Copper Hydri. Where is that? Um, somewhere? Ah, it could be anywhere. Copper Virginis. It was close to that one. Copper Hydri. There we go. And you are attacked. Oh, communication. Two more drones. E. All right, get it, and I will see you guys when we reach the Kappa Hydra system. And we're in the system, and before we jump out, we can just see here, now it is at full 1800. Whoops, yeah, I don't dare. And let's go into sort of the middle of this cluster, and then jump out, and then we can look at the different planets, and that's the middle of the cluster. Well, it's not a cluster, it's a system. There we go. So we have two planets, three planets. We have the sun. How much do we have? We have 84, so that's plenty. Fire ice is 1 million, and spiny forms that like my crystal. This is what you need to get nano nano tubes. Super nice. So with this one, we are basically solving the purple science like that. Pretty easy. And decent amounts of everything else. We might use it for extracting silicon if we want to. And and we also have pretty much anything else. Okay, so we have a gas giant with hydrogen and deuterium, and we have the Ashen planet around satellite satellite reverse rotation okay and it's ashen gelisol and it has some fire ice but aside from, oh it actually has a lot of silicon so that's actually might be it so this is the one it looks remarkably blue um construction arrow area 0.4 percent good thing we brought some concrete huh <laughs> oh this is gonna be fun this is gonna be fun and this is an ocean world. That's good. See, I wanted to get a new type of planet for you and for me. Um, but where? Where is it? Mm. Oh, we got a circuit. Oh, maybe it's this way. E. So that's Kappa Hydri 3. Wasn't it sort of... Hmm. Okay, we'll have to go there and then zoom out and see. It's Oh, it's straight behind us. Hmm. There we go. Hello, ocean world. That is well within reach of us, and no reason to jump. We'll jump. Oh, look at that flickering. And here we are. 0.4% building area. That's that one. <laughs> yeah, we're going to find the, the North Pole if we can. So let's go out of sail mode and just sprish. Nope. Like that. Uh, oh yeah, just North Pole. Oop, that one. And where are we? Okay, so turn left and go this way. Enable the build construct mode. That's going to be a bit difficult. But I'm going to take this one and just see if... Okay, there we go. We can see... Uh, what? Keep going this way. Why do I not see my North Pole anywhere? Did I disable some of these? Nope, I didn't. Ah, here we are. Alright, remember, we started this with 13.4 and we just burned through 40,000. 40, so we are going to do our usual polar hub, but we can just uh, do this in a bit slower manner than usual because uh, we have to actually, we actually have to think a bit, not a lot, just a bit, about how big we want this area. And we are certainly not going to pave the entire planet, although I'd really like to. But as you can see, our pristine water planet is starting to be... Oh, was that a mistake? I think that was a grave error. I think so. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Can't quite. Oh, range utilization, that's really good. The mining speed 
The mining productivity, the 6% mining productivity works with miners, but the speed part also works with uh, with extraction from oil. Look at these oil seeps, eight point, almost 8, and we have a lot of the spiny form. We're not going to do anything about that, but we, we certainly need more. Alright, so let's see. This one has to be there, and then the next one. Ah, okay, so it was not a grave error just yet. That one is the one I'm not allowed to breach. Because I want a nice round thing up here. It's gonna look good. This will definitely be easy to spot as our base. Those poor fishies. Well, they will evolve. Very carefully we're gonna do this. And I'm just going to set up like the very first thing so you get a sense of how to even get in uh, up and running on such a hostile planet. There we go. We have now just a very rudimentary things. And if you want to get... So the one thing that is most worrying in this location would definitely be setting up, uh, setting up the concrete. So we can't really run out of concrete here. If we run out of soil pile, that's that's problematic. Then we'll just have to go back and pave some worlds. Not that it, I really mind that, to be honest, but we'll just have to do it. All right, so if I do this, then I give that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So whatever, we'll take this one and you're just gonna start immediately. We have no power. I wanna show you how to just set it up. So it, it is actually pretty easy to get the ball rolling on this one. Uh, what do we want? We got some of these and we got a few warpers just to make sure we have it. And I will get some of this. Demand. Of course, these are not going to go out yet. Let's build some power. Oh, power is not actually there. It's under this Dyson sphere. So I think I'm going to go with this location here so I can put eight of these. I don't think I need eight, but damn it if it looks awesome when we have eight. There, and I'm gonna make a little thing in the middle. And um, that's probably not what I want. Here, and I will. Which one was the concrete now? Concrete. So that's gonna be eight. That's one, and that's two. I think it's number two that I requested that. No, it's number four. We'll do it number four. Number four is the one that's most useless because it only has like storage boxes. So we're also going to use this for requesting deuterium. No, antimatter. Again, don't really want a lot here. Just 500. That's probably fine. I will request it and then see if I get something. Yes, I do. And we are going to just take it out. The reason why I put some some effort into showing this immediately is because I think that it it just shows you how little you need. I, I keep seeing very very narrow-minded perspectives on just like oh just bring it in your inventory. Mm, yeah, but you can't really just get everything in your inventory, can you? Well, maybe you can. And I'm gonna put that here just to show that we got something going. And I'm gonna get start these ones because once this is fired up then I will have all the power I could ever dream of on this planet well pretty sure and this is then the fun part because it can't kickstart itself so you actually have to just get one of them in there and then it'll start picking up the rest there we go Did they just steal all of them bastards I'll put in a few more here of my own there so we'll spin a few more up here and then we can start establishing the power grid. Right, so from here on there's not really anything critical about it because what we have now is we have the grids, we have the power and we have the concrete. So with concrete and power established, I can just set up the rest as I like it so that this will be a fully functional new base. I will uh, let you watch that as we go.
And now we have a well-functioning, completely established base. It requests everything it needs. Some quantities are a bit off, or maybe you can you saw some of them that seem to be a bit more than it really needed. But if we look at this planet, it is pretty clear that this is my planet now, but it's going to be even more clear as we progress that this is very much my planet. So what we want to do is we want to start tapping these oil deposits. Now we're not going to just get everything here. My plan is actually to go here and and tap this location. And when we tap it, then we simply just ship it off the planet. And we're not going to touch any of the spiny forms yet because we'll do that when we need it. But there's a ton of that. Um, but each of these, if that's 8.5, then I guess there's like five, 10 of these. I don't think we'll do all of them because it's a lot and some of them are very far away. Um, but it's uh, we're, we're definitely going to get some of them. We need about 60 per second in order to do what we need. But what we are going to do here, I have 22,000. I could certainly, oh, still the wrong key, uh, that one. I'll take more. And that just means now we can go down here. Let's see, where did, that's the oil seep. We'll go for that oil seep there. All right, so I am going to concrete my way to victory because of course I am there. We're simply going to make sort of like a radial pattern outbound here and it's not always going to look completely perfect. Uh, I am going to misclick at some point and once you misclick, there's just no going back. There, okay, so we now need to tap this one and we also need to get power. The reason why I make it like a full belt is because I need power. You could also just make small islands and then just make a fly things back and forth. But I think it gets to be, I like to have a planet wide power grid. That just makes more sense to me. Uh, so what we're going to do is make a small island around this location. That should be like uh, this one maybe. Uh, probably needs to be just a bit bigger. There. Just again trying to make it as small as possible. Not because we have to make it small. But because it just looks nicer if it's like a small little deposit here. Can, I, can these connect? No, not if they're not next to each other. That one. All right. Let's see if that works. And this it does. Okay. So now we need all we need is just a location and it has to make sure that it doesn't block. Uh, let's see. Should we just make it anywhere or should we make it where it makes sense? Hmm, good question. Uh how big is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. we saw some shooting stars or more likely some Okay, so that is a grid there. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, okay, so it's a five grid. That means I can take this one here and then I am expected to take this one. One, two and a half. There. I didn't even actually make need to make this one out there, but eventually we'll end up having everything just terraformed because I can't be bothered not to. Here, we are going to get oil and warpers i'm actually going to request warpers to this location here and uh, nope it's going to be a local demand getting in from that location i will get some of these no i'm not going to get that many i'm going to get 25 that's still way too much and we do not have any of the other ones so get that here that's number five six get all of these because when you need it and first of all put one in there and that will be that one 10 and we don't have power yet that will be here and i think that this one actually needs to be one of the big ones right i think that's how it's supposed to be this one can now be reaching over the next grid and that grid cool i'm gonna get the same grid style thing i did on the on one of my other planets it's kind of a new style i like the and here we go looking good and i'm gonna continue this way because i want to find the equator and normally i would just go and i'm gonna build the whole planet and we'll take it from there but what I really want to do with this one is just to get a 
sense of what's going on here and also give you sort of an idea about how potentially you could do this. Uh, I should be seeing the equator anytime soon now. I am way past the equator now. Yep, I must be because that's... Yep, it is. You're going to be here. And then go one, two, three, four. And get the big one. One, two, three, four. And get this one. One, two, three, four. There. So that's how you can most easily bring the power all the way down. I don't think I want to get all the way to the South Pole because I don't really have anything I want to build at the South Pole. But I have this one here that I'd like to actually go out and tap. It's pretty close to what our location here. So let's continue on this expansion here. So we have now taken one of those locations. Oh, there. And that's the next limitation. Let's see. This one will be also too long for one that one and then this one will be just fitting perfectly in the middle and up here you can take that one yeah it's, it's weird but i've just found out which ones fit with where we are this is going to be a power pole but so we're going to get out here we have raised it out of the ocean there so it will be That one and some boxes for sure hmm yeah but can I no I can't there you go and you go away and get replaced by one of these and with a bit of power poles around it just to make it happy how's that there that's the one and you're also going let's take a look at this speed here this is 900 and let's call it 900 right 900 so that's that's 15 so this one's actually more like producing 15 per second hmm and when we get this one, it will probably deliver 15 per second. Very nice. And this one will again be oil. Here, here. Still not, don't, still don't want to do that. That one. And I'll request some warpers because we are going to allow the warpers to local demand and no supply. All right. That one is done as well. So that's now about 30, a bit less than 30, and we need more than 60. All right, where's the next one? Is there a next one? Yeah, there must be a next one, but I think I'll build another one of these. All right, so now that you've seen how I'm gonna do this, I will build just a few more of these uh, pinches out here. And let me see, how is our situation? We have 10 million, we still have 10 million. So we used about 3 million, but a big part of it is no use up here. All right, so let me just do some expansion and tap a few more oil deposits so we can see how that goes. And here is a little uh, intermezzo or intermission on my concrete laying so you can see here we basically make it almost made it into a pokeball <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe we're actually making it into a pokeball yep that's that's it we're making it into a pokeball um i don't know what else i would want to do if i really wanted to make it into a pokeball does that have lines here no it doesn't really but um yep that's that's um that's apparently what we did what I need, need to do now, so what I basically did was I covered the whole thing around and that just means I have power wherever because, yeah. And what I need to do now is tap some of these internal ones here, just figure out the easiest way to get into them. And let me see how many there are. There are the one, two, three here in this quadrant. Three, four, five, six with that one we already have. Um, 
seven, eight, eight, nine, and we're all the way around. So it looks like there are nine deposits and we have two of them and we need at least four of them, no, at least five of them to actually be having enough. I'm gonna set this up. You can also see that our science is not doing very well anymore. That's not a big surprise. Uh, it was supposed to be running out and I'm not really getting anything in there. It's probably, I don't know, it could be the red science, it could be yellow science, it could be anything at all. Uh, one thing that I know that some people will probably be worried about is the green science. So the green science will is also used for warpers. And if I request them over to my science planet, will there be enough left to warpers? Yes, because I've set up the, the system so that it it only sends a vessel out when it's 1000. So if there are zero green circuits or green signs left and it starts building them, then only when it gets to 1000 will it send out a vessel. But before it gets to 1000, it'll get to 100. That's kind of how no counting works. And when it gets to 100, the drone will pick it up and move it over to where we're actually making uh, the warpers. And I am producing at currently 64 warpers per second. So I'm, I should be good for warpers. And so that's not really something I want to worry particularly about. So let me just uh, hook this one up. And uh, I think that's sort of where we're basically going to, we did, we're not going to be making all the oil industry because I want to take that out to another planet when we're done with that. And here we are with the final one, the final oil reservoir we are going to hook up. Let's see, this is the one. And I'm just getting into the rhythm of how to do this because, well, I think that uh, when doing this, I think it's actually really nice that we have all of them at any given moment. So we don't, we know, this is kind of my, my philosophy. When you tap some resource on a planet, you tap all of them. Because if you don't tap all of them, then you don't really, well, you just don't really know if, if you have all of them, kind of. It's, it's kind of hard to explain, but I I really feel that if you don't, if you don't take all of them, then you will always go like, oh, I, was there some planet somewhere that I had something extra? I'm pretty sure I had some extra somewhere. And that's just not convenient. If you, if you know, if you look at the overview map and see that, well, if I was mining coal or something else, I would, if I saw it go down, then I would just be like, that's fine. I have everything I could possibly want. So what we have now is actually, let's see, this one hasn't really gotten any further. We can look at that or we cannot. Basically what I want to see is how much oil do we have here? Because if this one, oh, what do we just want to see? We just want to get a sense of how much it is. If I am supposed to get, I have 802 get in and then I divide by 60 seconds. That just means 13.36 and then I divide it by 7.86. That's one I get. So I have 0.7%, 70% uh, extra mining speed. Let's confirm that with our overlay here. Yeah, mining speed, 170%, perfect. Which means again, if we look at the map view and go over and see, we have now potential for 84.53 times 1.7 that means 143 oil per second 
and that's going to keep increasing so that's more than enough for basically all the oil i could ever wet for maybe i think so at least it's enough what i'm going to do now is i am going to take this somewhere but it's going to be next episode of course we're going to take it on to kappa hydra 3 the little satellite over here that isn't particularly interesting and just at this location we're going to split it and farm it and mine it so that we can get some graphite and some hydrogen which we'll send back and then we suddenly have fixed all of our red circuits it's going to be 60 of each so it's going to be a hell of a lot of of uh, oil refinery what i thought was really interesting about this episode aside from just the fact that we got a massive science build is also just like this is how terraforming works this used to be a water planet now it's i don't know what it is now a pokeball of some sort i hope you enjoyed it this slightly different episode in uh, in our series and we have a nice big uh, end game design or end game science facility that's now up and running and we're going to go explore the galaxies look at new planets scale up things we're going to go back we've been away from our our dyson sphere for a while so it would also be nice to come back start maybe start next time at that location just to see what's what's up there anyway i hope you like it if you do hit the like button you know that and uh, if you are interested in following this series, then uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm also working on some tutorials and that kind of thing. Which uh, So if you have ideas for those, do let me know what you'd like to see as, in terms of tutorials. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next episode. Until next time, take care. And as always, stay effective.